<laughs> what is the Roblox B32 and Buffer Library? What the fuck is that? There is no official built-in buffer library. But there is. But, but, but there is though, they, they released one. Update your memory Roblox's new buffer object. He, he's, he's working real hard. He's working... Okay, he did it. He found one. Good job. Good job. That is, that is not real, is it? What the fuck is t- Can you use... These to optimize data. <laughs> yes, you can absolutely use this. Okay, how about bit bit thirty two? Though how about bit thirty two? This is all like this is all like bytes, right? So you can just. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay. I actually want to test this out. Uh, hold on. Let me let me try and test this out real quick. Actually, you know what? Um, write me. Two scripts. Bit thirty two. Boom. All right. All right. Okay. Both represent the same concept of data. Uh, health and team. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. Okay. Let's let's do this. Okay. So I I look through the code. We have run. And then we have run2 here. So run is normal table. And run2 is bit32. And basically, um, we are simulating 10,000 of these tables. So in entries, we are putting 10,000 of these tables, I guess. Um, whatever this means, I-256, whatever. It's, and this is basically the same information, but in bit32. So we are doing the entries table, but this time we are putting the bit 32 values into the table and bit 32 in this case uh, when you print this out it should just be a number so we're basically just putting numbers as opposed to entire tables in the thing and in both tables we are putting the table entries inside of the global table this should be shared this is why uh, ai can't be trusted uh basically we are putting it in these global tables that can be accessed through any script because um as as it writes here it's to prevent garbage collections so this is basically just to see uh see the memory in the luau heap but actually i think a better way to to make sure that it does indeed work we'll do a task of wait one second do and loop now this will ensure that this does indeed just stay inside the luau heap and we don't have to do this shared thing so yeah, this will be in the Luau heap. So let me just um, let me just enable both these scripts real quick. I think I can wait to see the difference between this. Surely it's not that bad. <laughs> so F nine, uh, we can go to Luau heap. Okay, switch to server, and we can create a snapshot. Wait, what the? F it's at the top. It's right there. Wait. What? What, the, what is this? Oh my god! This is the normal table, the ta the normal table one, and then this is the bit 32. Holy shit! Two! No, no, that's not even 200. That's 2 million! That's 2 million bytes! That's 2 million bytes! Wait, let's just make sure. Okay, this is a stack. The stack is the local variables, and. Oh my god! And this is the bit 32 one. 26. Two, no, two hundred, two hundred and sixty-two thousand bytes of bits. I, I'm not sure if it's bytes or bits, but holy shit! Normal table stacks array is this much. This is the bit thirty-two one. It's literally tenfold. There's a tenfold difference. <laughs> that is crazy. And we're just storing, we're just storing these three values, by the way. We are just storing these three values. We, we got a boolean here, we got a number here, and then another number here. <laughs> okay, granted, this is only storing um, 
numbers and stuff like that. So if it's if it's like storing functions and like strings, I guess it would get more complicated. But damn, it gets us, if your format is just storing numbers. Uh, granted, we are using ten thousand entries, so let's try ten. Let's just try ten entries. How about that? You know, let let's be fair, okay? Maybe ten thousand. Maybe it scales up over time. Uh, the bit thirty two one. Here we go. Bit thirty two testing. The folder I created. The run is taking one thousand, and then the run two is taking three hundred. We are still losing. Roblox, what are we doing with this table bullshit, bro? How are we losing? How are we losing? And why is nobody using bit thirty two? What the fuck is this? As you can see from this wall heap just now, you might notice there was multiple runs. Uh, I also copy and pasted like. A comparison and buffer testing one. So here we have buffers, and the difference between bit thirty two is bit thirty two is just one number, right? So if we go to run two in a bit thirty two testing, I disabled it so we can test it later. It's basically just one number represented by bits, and we just save this. And this is the same information as as this, which oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. But now we have buffer. And buffer is a little bit more complicated. It's like a block instead of just one number. It's like a block. So we have, we've simulating 10 different classes, each with their own HP, MP, strength, and defense. And then we are doing the same thing. So you can have 10, but with buffers. So basically here, yeah, here it's commented and we're saving it in a block. So buffer is basically also just like a table and Print finish. Yeah, here we go. We can run this and see the performance. Google heap server create snapshot. As you can see, we are already losing at ten classes. This is just classes, by the way. Usually, you won't go more than like ten or twenty classes, like in a class-based game, like like a hero shooter. 3,000 for normal table, 1,636 for the buffer. That is crazy! And not to mention, right, because bit 32 is numbers, you could actually save numbers into the buffer. You can save bit 32s into numbers if you want. If you want to compress it even more. That is insane. We're already losing. Okay. Let's do, let's, let's, let's go a little bit more insane. 10,000 and we'll also do 10,000 right here. Now let's run the game. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Create object. <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? What am I looking at? This is normal table. This is buffer. Cool. Million bytes! Roblox! What are we doing with these tables? Why are tables so inefficient? 200,000. Buffer? 80,000. Oh, I know some fucking idiot in the comment will be like, Oh, but, but this is more readable. This is not readable. Dude, I am not sacrificing my, my player's tenfold memory so that I can read my code easier, okay? Holy shit! I think the thing is to, you should do is you make this first and then after you finish your game, only after you finish your game, you convert all of this like kind of code into like buffer. Granted, in tables you can put functions, but if your table is just storing stats like this, oh, I mean, oh my god. 80? Thousand, two million, literally twenty plus fold. <laughs> oh 